I'm John Grothy, the head golf professional at the OGA Golf Course, and I'm here to help you play better golf. So the tip today, what we're going to work on is we're going to work on trying to drive the golf ball better. A lot of people think that in order to hit the ball further, they need to simply swing faster. Well, I like to think of it, you need to swing more economically. And I've got two tips for you to think about when you're trying to hit the ball further. And let's all be honest with each other, we all could hit the ball further. The first thing I want to do is try and have the player finish on the left side. We all talk about getting your weight behind the ball and weight through the ball and things. I want you to focus on one thing, and that is to stand very, very nicely on the left side, weight all the way towards the target, much like a pitcher in baseball. Try and get that weight all the way to the left side, finish high, and hold that finish. The second tip I have for you is what I call the swoosh drill. This swoosh drill is where we get the club moving the fastest as it's going through the golf ball. The way I like to do the swish drill is I like to take the driver, flip the club upside down, actually grab the club head, and swing the grip as if that's the club head. When you do this, try and make a swoosh sound towards the left hand side of the golf ball. This means the club is traveling the fastest after the golf ball's been hit and makes your golf swing much more economical. So as we're trying to get as much momentum and as much club head speed going towards the target, one of the things I like to see is having a player get their weight all the way to the left side. Think of yourself as a baseball pitcher on the mound. They're trying to get a, a, a ball to be thrown as hard as they can in that direction, and they get their weight forward. You notice all pitchers are going forward towards the target. In golf, it's the same thing. We see so many players, when they swing, end up on their right side, and maybe they even do a little cheater move and they go this way. What I want you to practice is literally swinging the club and standing on that left side and holding your finish. Think of Gary Player, one of the best players of all time. As he would swing, he'd actually step into the ball. He'd actually walk towards the target. He's a little guy and he used to absolutely kill it. So I want you to take some practice swings, feeling that weight all the way to the left side. So when you're trying to gain speed and you're trying to hit the ball further, a lot of the tour players look like they're swinging really effortlessly and what I see when that happens is they're actually swinging efficiently here's a drill that I like to use to try and help you with that with that concept I actually take the driver turn it upside down and grab the club head from here I swing and I attempt to make a whooshing sound to the left of the golf ball so as I swing I try and hear that sound to my left towards the target a lot of players I'll actually see lose the angle and that whoosh sound happens behind the ball or to the right. That means the club head is actually slowing down into the ball. It's actually sped up back on my right hand side and I'm losing my speed as it comes in. The faster I swing the club, the higher pitched noise that I make, the faster my club head is going. So I might start off with just really nice smooth swings. And I might hear a whoosh, whoosh, very low sound to my left. As I speed up, I might hear a higher pitched sound. That to me tells me my club is moving faster as I go past the ball and is a very nice, efficient way to hit the golf ball. Once again, to get more distance out of the driver, go ahead and practice getting on your left side. Actually pose on your left side. Get your weight all the way through to the left. And then second, use that swoosh drill Swoosh the club on the left hand side, higher and higher, faster and faster, and I know you'll be able to hit the, the ball farther. If you have any questions on this or any other part of your game, please consult your local PGA professional. We hope to see you here at the OGA Golf Course, the home of Amner Golf in Oregon and Southwest Washington.